Finally this hour, a salute to a centenarian. The oldest living West Point graduate in the country was honored at a senior living center in Potomac Falls, Virginia. News Force Juliana Valencia shares the story of a very special 104 year old. Proudly walking into a room on his own, greeted by cheers and applause. There's a sense of joy and vibrance to 104 year old Herbert Stern. I'm really appreciative of these people turning out and recognizing me. Colonel Herb, as his comrades called him, honored Friday as the oldest living West Point graduate. And we're so happy to be able to give this to you. More than 28 years in the Army, the Rockville native is also the last living member of the 1941 class, the last graduating class before World War II. West Point graduate of 72, Bob Curran, gave him the award. He was a battery commander, he was a battalion commander, uh, he fought against the Germans, he liberated the uh, concentration camp, he studied at the French War College, he was one of the first Americans into Vietnam, he's done a lot of firsts. From battalion commander during the Battle of the Bulge to working directly with President Eisenhower on a top secret study. It took us a year and uh, we had access to things that we would have never been able to get into. A war hero to many, but a father to one. Well, this is a great honor, but what it really indicates is I've had all this time to enjoy my dad, and I really have. Uh, just an uh, amazing guy. Robert Stern's love for his dad overflowing. I'm very fortunate, and we've developed just an incredible relationship. A father who created a lasting legacy and still has a great sense of humor. I mean, I didn't do any great thing except get old. Colonel Herbert Stern will celebrate his 105th birthday this Christmas Eve. In Potomac Falls, Juliana Valencia, News 4. He did so much more than that. Mm -hmm. And if all of his accomplishments during his service in the Army aren't enough, get this. Yep, Colonel Herb, as he likes to be called, <laughs> still drives himself to the store to get his own groceries. <laughs> we are so proud of him and for his God. family, too. We, we owe him as a country a great deal of gratitude. Yeah. He's living proof of what we hear over and over again. Mm -hmm. They were made of tougher stuff. They certainly were. They yeah. don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> they don't make them like Truly. that anymore.